Hey guys, it's Miss Leone here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to draw ellipses at different angles. So the supplies we're going to need is a ruler or a straight edge, a pencil, and a piece of paper. I also have this coin here because the ellipses that we are drawing are inspired by coins. Alright, so let's start by labeling our paper, drawing ellipses at different Underline that and put my name. So what an ellipse is, it's when you look at something that's circular, right? So we have this coin, when we look straight at it, it's circular. But as we start to turn it, that circle starts to become an oval, and as you keep turning it, then it becomes flat. And the same thing, if we start angling it upward, it becomes an oval, and the oval gets wider and wider until you see it as a straight on circle. So that is what we're practicing today. So the first one that we're going to do, I'm drawing the one there, we're going to set up our page first. Right? We're going to, I'm tracing my ruler on both sides, and I'm just going to simply make, trace the ruler, and make two vertical lines. My ruler is about an inch. Um, we are going to be making little guidelines inside, so my ruler is about an inch, like I just said. So I'm going to just make a little mark right at the half an inch mark. And all I'm going to do is just make some vertical dashes going down. So this kind of reminds me of like when you're learning how to write in elementary school and you get like those lines on your paper that have um, separation with the dots, with the slashes. The second one, we're going to do the same thing but horizontally. So we're just setting up our paper, that way we can just start working right away. Okay, going to the edge. Make sure you're holding your ruler or your straight edge steady because then it'll end up moving on you. Same thing, I'm just going to measure at the half an inch mark and I'm going to draw some dashes horizontally. Make sure that they're even, make sure it's parallel. Okay, and just make some dashes going across. third one is going to be exactly what we just did, so we're just repeating here. Same thing, doesn't matter how much space in between, just leave some space in between. Alright, so two horizontal lines tracing across. Notice how I'm grabbing the ruler firmly so it doesn't move. Okay, and then I'm just going to split this to the half an inch again. So this really looks like when you were little and you learned how to write. This is just to, for our learning purposes, just so we can kind of visualize it a little better. So I'm going to just make in some dashes, dash, 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 going across, all right? So finally, the fourth one, all we're doing is tracing the ruler, we're not putting any dashes, just tracing the ruler here. All right, so we're almost done and we're going to begin just setting up our papers. Make sure everyone does this first. That way, all you have to do is just draw. Okay, and there we go. And that is how we are setting it up. So notice this is the only one, number four, that does not have the dashes down the middle. All right, so we're gonna start here with a coin at eye level. So all I'm gonna do is around the middle, eye it, right? We're gonna write at eye level here. Okay. Just gonna draw a horizontal line going across another horizontal line and then capping it off on the edges and all I'm going to do is just draw some vertical lines just to kind of represent the edge of the coin right so this would be like if we were looking at the coin like this now next we're going to make slightly we're going to make skinny ovals so it's going to represent if we're looking if it starts to get underneath we see the bottom above our eye level and then we're going to start to tilt it making an oval that way so let's do that Nice and skinny, to the best of your ability. I'm going to do that again down here. All right, and then at this point, we can make our little edge. OK, and then we can make our vertical hatching, just to give it like the detail of the coin. Same thing down here. And then 
a vertical hatching. All right, so we just have two more to do. There's only one more before it becomes a full circle. So here you can see, again, it's flat. This one, it's kind of tilting this way. The next one is gonna be tilting more. Not a full circle though, but a wide oval, almost a circle. And the same thing below this, wide oval. And then we're gonna make our little edges here, just so we have the illusion of this being a three-dimensional object. And then put our little hatching, vertical hatching, same thing here, to the best of your ability, guys. And then finally, it's just going to be like a full circle. So if you had a coin and you wanted to trace it, that's fine. Okay, so that would look like this. I'm just going to place it there. Trying not to move it. Using my thumb here. Okay, now we got a good perfect circle. Same thing here. So you can draw it or you can trace your quarter. Whatever you want to do. here so I have to be really careful not to move this and that's it and that's how it's gonna look and we're not making any edges because we're looking straight at it so again oops, it would be like being like this slightly at an angle more at an angle and then finally flat and the same thing here right at our eye level we don't see the top or the bottom we're tilting it you're kind of seeing it a little bit a little more wider oval until it's a full circle all right, so that's the first one. The second one, we're gonna be kind of doing it, I guess we would say, we're kind of doing it like this, but a little backwards, but just so we can do it from a sideways. So again, if you wanna trace your coin, might make your life easier, that's fine. Or if you have something circular. Okay, now that's our first one, just a plain old circle. If you wanna be creative and try to draw the little guy on the coin, that's cool. All right, so the next one is gonna be almost a circle, right? But it's not, it's gonna be kind of like this one is, like really wide oval. So it won't be touching the edges here. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and just keep this momentum going here. I'm gonna make slightly skinnier oval, a little closer to the lines. Okay, and then a really skinny oval. So the final one is just going to be like a little rectangle. And then we can go in and add our vertical hatching to represent the, the edges of the coin. And if your ovals are too big, just erase, redo it. It's all good. The idea is that it's just changing an angle and getting slimmer as it's moving. Finally, this one edge, all right. And if you wanna be creative again, feel free to add um, the little guy there. And I could probably make this a little wider here. All right, next we're gonna be having, being at eye level in the center like this, and then going to the left, opening up, and then going to the right, opening up. So right in the center, I'm just gonna do it right in the middle give or take. So it's like if the coin was standing up. And now here, the, the marks become horizontal hatching. All right, so now we're gonna go skinny oval on both sides, vertical ovals, skinny oval on this side. Okay, then we're gonna do slightly wider. slightly wider and then finally again we can use our quarter or you can draw it I'm just gonna trace the quarter make my life easier you can make your life easier too okay just being careful when you do that last when you do this last angle and you're tracing it all right same thing here so this is really important skill to have in art because sometimes we're not gonna see things at all the same angle and eye levels. So this is really gonna help you understand 
when you're drawing from observation how to change your angles. All right, and then from here, we can add our little edges. So remember the circle one doesn't get an edge. It's kind of like, we're just making like the super skinniest cylinder ever. And then on this side, it's going opposite to the best of your ability, guys. This is our final edge, because again, the circle, the full circle, we don't see the sides. We're just seeing it straight up. And you can draw little faces if you want, draw the little George Washington on the quarter. All right. So again, this is the equivalent of if we had it this way totally straight you don't see it the sides here it starts to tilt tilts it a little more this is flat same thing here you have your coin it's slightly starting to tilt so you see a little oval a little wider and then totally flat all right guys so the final one that we're going to do here is we're just going to be drawing it sideways like this one but we're going to have it start to tilt so we're going to go from a vertical side view and it's gonna just, each step is gonna tilt until it becomes horizontal. All right, so for this, I'm gonna use my ruler just to make my life easier. And again, my ruler is exactly an inch. So I'm just gonna go here, make two lines, trace the edges, make my coin standing up vertically, made my little edges. Next, put a little arrow there so we know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off like this, but then I'm going to tilt it ever so slightly just to have it give the illusion of it starting to tilt. So again, I'm keeping with my one inch, sliding the ruler over, okay, and then I'm connecting it. So this is still a rectangle. Make sure that it is, these lines are going to tilt as well, the hatching. Okay. Next, so I have it at this angle, I'm going to slide it here, that's the same angle and I'm just going to tilt it a little more, keeping with my one inch, alrighty, and then adding my hatching, alright, so we have two more steps, this one's going to be almost horizontal ever so slightly off. Again, I'm going to be keeping with my one inch, moving the ruler down a little drop, one inch, making my little edge, give it the illusion of volume, and then finally, my final one is horizontal. So I'm just going to put the ruler sideways, one inch, move it down ever so slightly, one inch, and then just add my hatching here. All right, guys, so as you can see, again, we started off with the coin being like this, then it tilts, then it tilts, it tilts, and then finally it's flat. All right, guys, so that's it for today. Again, we're drawing ellipses at different angles. Um, just practice and um, just make sure that your ovals are rounded and um, to the best of your ability, keep them in the lines. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this. Have a great day. Bye.